Hello, and welcome to The Space Above Us, Supplemental 1, the complete air-to-ground transmissions of Freedom 7. The flight of Freedom 7 was extremely short by modern piloted spaceflight standards, lasting only about 15 minutes. With that in mind, I thought it might be interesting to provide audio for the entire mission from launch to splashdown for you all to enjoy. This supplemental contains the air-to-ground transmissions between pilot Alan Shepard and mission controllers on the ground. On top of that is overlaid the commentary by the NASA Public Affairs Officer explaining the sequence of events to the public. I found this audio, along with many other missions, on the excellent YouTube channel belonging to Lunar Module 5. That's Lunar, Module, and the number 5. All lowercase, no spaces. The audio is a little rough, especially near the end, but I really wanted to make sure I included the entire mission all the way up to Splashdown, so hang in there. If you like this kind of stuff, you should definitely take a look at his channel, because there's plenty more where this comes from. Without further ado, I give you Mercury Redstone 3, The Flight of Freedom 7. Command, 30, what? Hey, Roger, 30 hey, seconds. so has retracted. That's the fantastic pickup. Rain bus, 24 volts. 26 amps. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Lift off. All right, uh, lift, lift off, and the clock is starting. This is Freedom 7, the fuel is go, 1.2 feet and 14 PSI, oxygen is go. Cabin pressure is holding at 5.5. Cabin holding at 5.5. Freedom 7 in voice communication with the Mercury Control Center. Fuel is go 2.5 G. Reports 3.5 G. Cabin pressure holding 5. Is go. The main bus is 20. Cabin pressure holding 5.5 pounds per square inch. 29. Right, three to 5 to 5. Protect the auto kick. Okay, it's a lot smoother now, a lot smoother. The flight trajectory is still A-OK. -okay. The pilot is in good voice communication with Mercury Control. Seven here, fuel is go, 4G, 5.5 cabin, oxygen go, all systems are go. Freedom 7, with astronaut Alan B. Shepard reports the fuel system is go. 4G, 5G, cabin 5.5 pounds per square inch, oxygen go, all systems go. Cut off, tower jettison green. Pilot reports Disarm. tower jettison. Astronaut AOK. Periscope coming is coming out. out. And the turnaround has started. Turnaround started, assuming orbital attitude. SCS is okay. Control movements. He's going to hand control okay. movements now. Okay, switching to manual pitch. Switching to manual control okay. of the pitch attitude.
Trajectory looks A-OK. Pitch is OK. Pitch control A-OK. Switching to manual yaw. Switching to manual yaw. Yeah. 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 Identify uh, Andros Island. Three to four tenths cloud cover Identify along the, eastern the reef. coast of the United States, obscuring the eastern coast up through Cape Hatteras.
9G coming down. Uh, okay. Okay. Is what I'm Okay. Okay. Going through Big G now. He is still talking, saying, okay. Okay. This is seven, okay. All data here at the Mercury. Forty five thousand feet at now. Time is excellent. Uh forty thousand feet. I'm back on ASCS. Thirty five thousand. Thirty thousand feet. Pilot reports thirty thousand feet on the go down. That's how I'm out of here now. Uh, right to deep, reading it loud and clear, honey. Switched over to Google Eyes. Pilot now talking to us via a link radio. Hello, uh, Roger. Bahama Island, and we're leading him loud and clear. The drogue is green at twenty-one. The periscope is out. Drogue parachute. The drogue is out. The drogue parachute has deployed. Okay, a drogue deploy. I've got seven zero percent. Auto, 90% manual. Oxygen is still okay. And the snorkels at the about 15,000 feet. Emergency flow rate is on. The medical monitor and emergency flow Standing by for main. A okay all the way. The main parachute. Main on green. The main parachute. Main chute is reef. Mercury spacecraft Freedom 7 is now... Main chute is green. Main, main chute is coming unraised and it looks good. As was expected at about main this time... Main chute is good. The rate of descent is reading about 35 time. feet per Our second. Communication with Mercury astronaut Alan Shepard is getting a little rough. We did report the deployment of the main chute. Yep. Hello, Captain Freedom 7. How do you read? Feet descending. Card file 2-3, this is Freedom 7, do you read? Freedom 7, this is Indian Capcom, do you read me? Affirmative, Indian Capcom, let me give you a report. I'm at 7,000 feet, the main chute is good. The landing bag is on green. My peroxide has dumped. My condition is good. Roger, Freedom 7. I understand you're at 7,000 feet. Your main chute is open. Your landing is good. Over. That is affirmative. Please relay. Card file 2-3, card file 2-3, Freedom 7, over. Uh, Freedom 7, Freedom 7, this is card file 2-3, over. Uh, this is 7, relay back to Capcom, uh, please. My altitude now 4,000 feet. Condition as before, the main chute is good. The landing bag has deployed, the peroxide has dumped. All right, just a second, roll.
Uh, card file 2-3, Freedom 7. Go 7, this is 2-3. Uh, I'm about 1,500 feet now. The main chute still looks good. Radio descent is indicating 30 feet per second. All right, Roger. And that's it. That was America's first flight in space. Whenever I listen to this, I always find it incredible how quickly the whole thing was over. It seems like the mission was just getting started when Shepard reports he's assuming the attitude for retrofire. If you liked that, then you should also enjoy the supplemental I have planned to go along with the flight of Liberty Bell 7 in two weeks. And if that's not enough, I again encourage you to check out the YouTube channel belonging to Lunar Module 5. I'll include a link in the show notes. Ad Astra, catch you on the next pass.